Hey everybody, welcome to Windling Farms. So, quite a bit's going on the last couple of days. Well, not really anything super exciting. Uh, just a few updates. We're getting close to being done with harvest. Uh, sitting here this morning, we've got about 165 acres left. Now, that's definitely something we can handle in one day. But unfortunately, yesterday, the cleaning fan on the 8250 went out. And uh, yeah, that combine was out of commission about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. And uh, I don't know, I haven't really heard uh, if they got all the parts or what, but it needs a whole new cleaning fan. And the cleaning fan is what blows air on the sieves to clean the grain. All the fan blades yesterday, they just, I heard a noise and all of a sudden, I got an alarm saying cleaning fan low speed. So I'm like, well shoot, the bearings were cold. So uh, it wasn't like a bearing went out and, and screwed it up. It's a hydraulic drive cleaning fan. So I don't know if that motor went out or what, but yeah, the 8250 is currently down. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather last uh, couple of days. Yeah, as you can probably tell right now, you can hear my voice. I'm a little bit congested still, but doing a little better. Yeah, we got some overage white corn, so that's got to go up to the ethanol plant. And uh, that's quite a ways from our farm. So all the trucks are taking off early this morning here. So it's going to be a little while before they get back. But uh, all the trucks are loaded. We've got two carts loaded. So it's going to be a little bit before we can get the combine moving. We'll see on the 8250 what happens later today. They're going to come out and look at it. And... So yeah, I hope everybody enjoys this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm getting ready to unload that cart on a truck. We got a hold of a neighbor and he was willing to uh, take a couple loads up to the ethanol plant with his truck. So huge thank you to him. So I'm gonna unload a cart on him this morning. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll wait for the trucks to get back. In the meantime, we can load a cart. Beautiful morning out here though. 8250's over there in that barn lot all alone. So here's some cleaning fan blades I pulled out yesterday. This is the cleaning fan here. Can't really see in there, but it looks like there's probably five or six blades torn up, laying all over the place in there. So this whole thing needs replaced. Grandpa and I are off to fill the cart. It's just Grandpa and I out here running the show this morning. Dad's off uh, working on the chisel plow. Uh, he was replacing some bearings on the disc gang, and he got all that finished up. And then he realized there was a bearing on the rolling basket uh, that needed replaced. So he's been uh, working on some bearings this morning. He should be getting close to having that all wrapped up by now. With this eight row breaking through, this is tight through here. I mean, I'm barely skimming that corn over there. And you'll see this spout, it's awfully close. Look at that. Holy cow. This makes me nervous. Yeah, you can see just going straight down the center of this. There's not a whole lot of room on each side of the cart. A 12 row uh, bricking through works pretty good. Although we do have a extra long auger on that combine so it is kind of tight with it but not near that tight i'm gonna have you uh put some more on go the other way just so you can make it up to the road i don't know what just happened there i was getting an awesome shot of that 6130 and my camera just turned off and turned back on. What in the world? Some people on Instagram were saying I don't show any love to the 6130. I feel like I do. I just show a lot more of the 8250 because that's the combine I'm running all the time. So my videotaping skills were pretty poor there. <laughs> With the, with the process of the cleaning fan getting replaced because you really didn't see anything. Um, but 
I don't know. I just feel awkward. I don't want to stand over somebody's shoulder with a camera and be out there talking about everything. Um, but I guess I can kind of just summarize it for you. So yeah, he is in the process of dropping that whole cleaning fan out. Uh, he's got a new one on a service truck. So he's got a new cleaning fan and new bearings. He still doesn't know for sure what caused the cleaning fan to go out. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to stand over his shoulder with this camera and just feel awkward doing it. And he probably wouldn't be a huge fan of me running around with this camera, filming, filming him the whole time while he's trying to get his work done. So we got about three rings left here in the bin to fill. How many rings total are there? I don't know, I have to get back so I can count them. It looks like it's loading a little heavier towards the southwest side of this bin. So I really want to keep an eye on that so I don't run it over because you could be looking right here and think, oh, we got plenty of room, but over there on that side, it's full and it's coming over the top. So I got to keep an eye on that over there on that southwest side. I want to get up here and take a look at this spout and uh, make sure everything's still fast and good up there so the corn's hitting that spreader just right. Okay, I just unloaded a truck, so let's see what level we're at now. So one truck does a little bit less than half a ring. There's one truck, two, three, four, five. Probably like five or six more loads can go into this bin. Yep, I think so. Man, it's windy out here today. Looks like rain. You know, after tomorrow, it can rain all at once. We'll have about 80 acres of corn to shuck tomorrow, and that's it for harvest. Alrighty, we're all fixed up. Let's go shuck some corn. I'm thinking there might be, what do they call it, a pip on this cleaning fan. So that might be like, I guess you could call it like a recall on these early uh, 50 series combines. Uh, so we might be in good shape then. We might not have to uh, pay for that probably really expensive fan. But I don't know yet for sure. I'm on this Facebook page with flagship combines and I posted on there. Just wanted to get some people's thoughts and if anybody else had any problems with it. and. Uh, a lot of people commented on there they had the same problem a lot of people had their machine fixed uh, it was like a recall so they didn't have to pay for the cleaning fan or the labor or nothing uh, they just got it all taken care of by case IH so I don't know hopefully that's the case I'm taking her out to the field here and we're gonna test her out I already test fired it there with the mechanic and everything seemed to be perfect dad's been moving right along with that eight row I mean he's Almost had this field wrapped up, actually.
Here we go. Holy cow. I've got raindrops on my windows. That's crazy. Haven't seen any raindrops on these windows all fall. There's probably gonna be a rainbow somewhere because it's sprinkling out and the sun's out. It sure is windy though. Jeez. The feeder house keeps clean when it's windy like this. My windows are ruined. All it takes is a few sprinkles to ruin a window. Look at the wind blowing that corn. It's kind of tough to see here, but that cleaning fan in there, that's what they replaced. I know I kind of mentioned that this morning, but so all these shields had to come off. There's a pan underneath that had to get dropped down. And that whole fan had to come out. The bearings were all okay, but I don't know what caused that thing to just explode like it did, but that's a new cleaning fan. We got new bearings and it's working great. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what caused it. We're waiting on trucks. Can't tell if dad's asleep or he's talking on the phone. Oh, he's talking on the phone. Got his feet kicked up on the steering wheel. He's ready to take a nap. If you're able to hear anything out here, that microphone's doing its job. Wow, it sure is dark over there. <laughs> What's he trying to do? Clean out his hopper? <laughs> Ought to just dump into his hopper. There it is. One more field of yellow corn to harvest this year and that'll be all. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is the last morning of harvest. Wow, I don't know what to think. Trucks all took off this morning to go get rid of all that white corn. We are gonna be finishing up harvest with a field of yellow corn, so. We're gonna go over there. I'm gonna fill up both cards. Uh, Dad's actually in a truck. It's gonna be a little bit before they get back, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up both these cards. And by the time I get that done, they're probably gonna be close. And we can uh, fire up a second machine and start knocking out this last field. This year's harvest was definitely one to remember. Channel three. Uh, it sure has been dry. We haven't had any breaks. And it's just been go, go, go. So I was informed that the cleaning fan situation, uh, all that yesterday was covered by a case bulletin. So uh, yeah, that's good news. I know there's there's a window between you know model year of your machine, serial number, and all that stuff, uh, whether or not you qualify for the case bulletin. I've talked to some people, and uh, they were saying how they've got like 300 hours on their machine, separator hours on their machine and they're on their third cleaning fan. So obviously there's something screwed up. So yeah, yesterday uh, we were covered by the case bulletin, which is good news because, you know, it probably took them about six hours. And I know that cleaning fan's probably not cheap. So that would've been a pretty hefty bill, I would assume. Time to load cart number two. Trucks are here and we're sending them to town now with some yellow corn. The drive with the yellow corn is a heck of a lot shorter, so surely we ought to be able to keep up now. This field sure won't take very long if we can keep up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. 
coming in hot. We're getting close to being done. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear the little rattling noise, but I made it uh, all the way until the last few acres here without any corn on the cab or beans. Yep, we got some corn on the cab. There it is. Oh yeah. Jeez. What in the world? I go all season long. I wasn't paying attention to my full alarm. I really panicked whenever the uh, corn started coming off the side of the hopper. It really comes off the side before it actually goes over the front. The thing is too, is I was right there at the end. I was probably five feet from making it through on the end. I do have a little corn on this side. So when we finish up this field here, we're gonna take the uh, heads over to where we got the blower part. We're gonna blow off the heads and combines. The heads will get put in the shed and then the combines will be taken to the farm. There I face my last pass of Harvest 24. There's a pheasant right in front of me. You'll see him fly out here whenever I uh, get through the end. There he goes. It's all she wrote, folks. How's it feel to be all finished up? Wonderful. Feels good, but kind of sad. Yeah. Well, we got the heads put away in the shed and now it's time to blow off these combines and take them to the farm. All righty, well, 82.50, it's all blown off and she's ready to rest. I'll tell you what, this is probably the nicest weather I've ever cleaned up harvest equipment. 67 degrees and everything's dry, everything blew off nice, it wasn't stuck to the machine. Well everybody, that's all she wrote for uh, Harvest 24 and that's all she wrote for this video. So I hope everybody enjoyed all the Harvest videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and we'll catch you in the next one.